another game of Catan. Today we are in third position. And interesting board because there's a 2 or and a 12 or and then an 8 or. So if we can, we're going to try to get on the 8 or. Um, otherwise, we're going to look for some good ports. I'm seeing the wheat port, which we might utilize. We have the 9, 3, 6. And red takes probably what I would have taken here, which is the 8, 10, 5. Uh, doubling up on the brick, getting a really solid ore spot, and then also access to a 3 to 1 where he's probably not going to be contested here. That's a really, really solid first spot. Um, in second position, I would probably take the 4, 3, 8. Um, if not, I'm most likely going to take that and go uh, to the left. Maybe double up on the 8 if we can, get on the wood port. And then if we can, take that 11, 4, 5 on the way back. Um, Obviously, the 4, 10, 8 would be even better, but I'm assuming that spot will get taken. But if this 8 does get closed out, I think we're going to take the 5, 9, 10 and get on this sheet port. And then probably get the 3, 9, 6 here if that's open. Yeah, I think that's pretty solid. So we're definitely going to take the 5, 9, 10 here. Now, the question is, where should we face? The sheet port will be nice, but do we want the 3 to 1? I kind of like the flexibility of the 3 to 1, and I don't really like the expansion on the 10 sheep as much. But if we do end up with that 6, then the 10 sheep will be pretty valuable. But who's to say here? What would 4th position take? Probably the 4, 10, 8. And then maybe the 9, 6, 3 going to the 3 to 1. That puts us in a kind of a tough spot. We could take the 9, 4, 11. I think I might do the 3 to 1 here, actually. Yeah, I think I might do the 3 to 1. We'll see. I think we'll be on enough brick and wood to... Um, to snag this sheep port if we need to, but I like getting a little bit of ore here, and I'm assuming we might not get exactly what we want. We might have to port out other resources. I don't know if we're going to get on this 936 spot. It's in fourth position. Honestly, they might take the sheep port with the 4, 8, 10, and the 3, 6, 9, which isn't great, but we could always get a little bit of extra brick and some wheat with the 11, 10, 9. But we do want to connect our roads here. Yeah, so he takes the 4, 8, 10. I'm assuming going towards the sheep port and then the 9, 3, 6, maybe the 9, 6, 2. Get on some extra ore. So I think I want to value some production here. Oh, okay. But instead they take the 10, 9, 2. I think that makes sense. He has brick now to pair with his wood. He's going to get on some more ore here, a 3 to 1. So do we want to take the 3, 6, 9 here? I think we might. I think we might want to. It's a lot of production. I kind of wish I would have faced my road now towards the sheep port, knowing that I would get this 639 spot. I kind of assumed green would take it. But regardless, maybe I should have fought for the sheep port, because if he took this spot, then I would want to take that sheep port away from him. So looking back, I think I should have pointed my road right here. But I, I do think I'm going to take this 369 spot, and then I'm going to point right. I don't think it's worth fighting uh, green here. And who knows, maybe we still get the sheep port. Depending on where our opponent's placed, we might end up putting two roads back and snagging that port. But we will have to block that eight to uh, stop our opponents here. The problem with this setup is we really aren't specializing in road and we're not specializing in ore wheat sheep, which I don't like. But maybe when we get to the three to one, we can use our wheat and sheep and fight for army. 
Now I think red has a really good spot here, and that's the 1165 to pair with his brick, and then he goes over to the 1112. Yep, that is a really good spot for red. So red's definitely the biggest threat here, no question. It is quite a tempting trade, I will not lie. I think I should have taken that. Because we're on plenty of wood, we don't really need it right this second. But our nine hits, that's nice. Now, if we can get another nine to hit, we might just go ahead and start roading over the sheep. Another sheep rolls. Yeah, I really wish I would have put my road towards the sheep port here. It will take green a while, but it's, it's a risk. It's a pretty big risk. And also, red could always cut us off this 3-1, to one, even though it doesn't really make a ton of sense for him to cut us off. I think we're still going to go for it. I doubt anyone takes this, so we're running out of time anyway. Yeah, red's in a, such a good position. Anytime a 5 hits, he has a, he has a road. We're not doing any trades unless they offer ore, and even then, I don't think we want to give our brick away. Good thing is, if a seven hits, we have plenty of other resources to discard, so we'll have our road. Yep. Now, orange should definitely rob from red here. Either the 5, the 10, the 6, the 5, 5 wood or brick, that is. Okay. He does rob from red. Orange should do pretty well as well because they can get to this 3, 11, 10 spot, which is probably their priority. They might have thought to block, well, red still has more brick and wood, so it still makes more sense to steal from red there too. Okay, he forced for ones for the brick. Yep, and he goes to the 3, 10, 11. See if anyone trades us for wood here. Red does. Now the next objective is to get to this three to one. It's also tempting to double up on the six here actually. We need our ore so we are gonna take this. Gives Green the settlement, but now we're not racing him for anything. And I don't think Green's in a great position here. They're in a similar boat to me, though. They have to, uh, they don't really specialize in anything, and they can't connect roads. So that makes it kind of tough for them. Now, hopefully, we roll a sheep. I want to save up for the city, but we'll see what happens. If it 10 rolls, we'll probably two for one. But I don't know. It's 
Red can also connect from the back, which is something they might consider doing. But um, Orange plays the aggressive knight here. Should probably steal from Red, but they may steal from me or Green since we already have a first settlement. The 10, interesting. Um, definitely don't agree with that block. I don't think we're in a very dangerous position here. We would need two for this. I don't think he really needs the wood. So green already left. Makes sense, I think. They're in a, kind of a tough spot here. Okay, it's good at least uh, red sevens out. He'll probably put it on this six sheep. Maybe orange, because orange has the, uh, the ore here as well, but okay, he blocks the nine. I think that's fair. And then he steals from, steals from the bot. sheep here that's huge but we are at eight cards so we really want to avoid the seven here orange going for army I think we're just gonna ready up our city here Oh, and the bot takes from us. That's the unfortunate thing is the bot doesn't realize that red's in a better position with the eight ore. But I mean, orange is also in pretty decent shape. He's uh, pretty lined up for army here. We may just need to go for road, but red can connect at the end of the day. But if we hit a 10, then we should have it. We do hit a 10, that's huge. So we're definitely gonna city up here. Now I'm doing this spot because the 10's gonna get blocked by the bot. The six will hit more often, which gives us a free card. And once we get on the three to one, we'll have more wheat to port. So I like, uh, I like this spot here. The bot is gonna rob us though on the nine. Luckily, we don't have any cards now to rob from, so he'll have to take from someone else. Puts it on the 10. I guess I could see why I'd be a threat now here. I look like I could be taking army. And red, I think uh, it's interesting that they're not going at all for dev cards. I mean, I guess they are on six, five, and five and ten of brick, so maybe that does make sense. But that, that also makes it a lot less likely that we get road. So I, I don't know. It's a toss-up. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Do you think it makes sense to block me here, or as from Orin's point of view, does red come off more as a threat? I don't know. I could see now with the city it being a little bit more threatening, but... I'm not sure what our win condition is yet, because I think red could still take road from us fairly easily with the amount of production he is on. Good thing though, um, is at least the bot is going to be blocking orange now, the orange is up. So after we get on this three to one, we're gonna double up on the six sheep. 
and then we'll get dev cards and maybe go for road depending on what red does. Because right now red's at two roads and we're at four. But I think at the long term he'll be able to connect. But it would be across a lot of very unproductive uh, settlement spots. So let's see what orange does. I think, yeah, it's a toss up. I don't know if you block me or red here. But he does block red. Yeah, see it with the... And I think I, I still would consider red a little bit larger of a threat just because of the... Um, just because of the... Um, or that eight or but now we're on 12 or so that looks pretty juicy for us very surprised resident red hasn't put up a city but i just realized red is um lacking wheat here so i guess i understand now why uh orange is doing better we hate to see that. We definitely do not want the bot to take our six, our six spot here. I think from red's perspective, you probably block, yeah, orange here. I would probably still block the wheat though. I think the wheat's a good block for red. Okay, the bot might honestly have this uh, six port now. Um, that's not great, but we have the nine we can settle on. Maybe that's how we get road here. Yeah, I think that's a better block. Okay, now red gets uh, road. And orange blocks himself. Guess that makes sense. No, I think it was a mistake. <laughs> he said idiot. Um, yeah, because that hurts him too. But yeah, he needs the city. Unfortunately, we were not able to double up on the six. That's our fault. Uh, maybe we should have prioritized that. I just liked being on, yeah, see our ore just hit. I like being on the ore here. Wow, and the two hits for the bot. That's that's pretty huge. Let's see if someone will do wheat for sheep. I think red might. Red does not. Yeah, so the other question here is, should I extend my road out to the left to make sure that I can at least fight red for, for a road here? Maybe that's what I should have done, actually. I think maybe I'm banking on the dev cards a little too hard. Also, the wheat port would help me out here. I think that might have been a better call. Yeah. I think that may have been the better call here. Oh, we also have a city too. The city helps us a little bit more, I think. Especially if we need to beat uh, red to road. And we're gonna keep our wood and brick just in case we're able to sneak over to this 11, 12, or just this 11, I mean. Bot steals from red, that's good at least. And looks to be fighting a uh, green four army here. Now we can sneak a couple more cities and then sneak road, but I think red will probably, oh, but red finally gets the city. So red's looking dangerous now. Did orange leave? I think orange left. 
That's interesting because Orange definitely has a chance still. So we could get road right now, but I think it's better to to get the settle. Uh, but I understand why you'd maybe want to get road here. That's fine. And then... Um, we will sneak our road over to the 11 this next go around. Oh, but they take my wood. We did kind of need the wood there. And red six hits. Let's see, he's at five roads. If we put two down and another city, maybe we pull for it. We might want to pull the dev card. Get our road over a couple. Fight around this a little bit. I think we we're gonna pull first. Ninth. That's not what we wanted. some trades off. What I don't like about this is we're opening up red to cut us off. Maybe we should have just gone the two roads here, but what I don't like about that is um, first of all, red could still cut us off, and we still need one more VP on top of that. But at least red can't cut us off at this point. Red has to pass, and we're definitely gonna rob that six. We do get the wood. Oh, and they, they, they take from us again. Oh, it's going to be close. Oh, but he puts it back on the eight. That's huge. The eight's a good block as well, but the six is a little bit scarier because he has the wood port. And we got a 12 to hit. Nice eight block. I think we may pull for it because I'm not sure how many um, VPs have been pulled yet. Wait, let's see. We could actually win on this turn. Oh, we got the VP. Let's go. Great game. So looking at the board, two hit a couple times, a lot of sevens, decent amount of eights, nines, fours. Wow. 
I'm glad that we pulled and then also put the settlement down here because I think that prevented Red from prioritizing. That made Red prioritize that city instead of prolonging his road because I think Red would have had the road here long term, which would have made it a lot harder for us to get to 10. But great game nonetheless. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy this special episode. It's for uh, 100 subscribers. I guess we're almost uh, close to 200. But if you like this content, please subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.